It's debatable, but I'm inclined to term limits. I joined with a group of congressmen in 81 or 82 and introduced the first term limits uh, bill into Congress. Now, it went nowhere. Couldn't get it out of committee. Tip O'Neill uh, called me and laughed at me. He said, you really are a freshman, aren't you? I said, what do you mean, Mr. Speaker? Term limits, my God, it's un-American. Uh, it, it, it is un-American under our Constitution now. You'd have to have a constitutional amendment. So I couldn't argue with Tip. I just disagreed with him. I thought that the you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Not my thought, Lord Acton came up with that uh, 200 years ago. But it's true. Uh, Washington has become a place of, of uh, power centers. It has come a place of defending the indefensible. It's come a place of, of retrogression rather than progression. It's become a place of the well-off and the well-heeled and the special interests, not of plain people. And at the heart of it is a set of reforms that is necessary. It's always difficult to be a reform candidate because you've got some flaws in your closet that are always revealed. Well, buddy, you remember back in 1963? That's hogwash. We need reform. And I know I'm an imperfect deliverer of that message, but by God, I'm going to deliver it. It would include term limits in a perfect world. We can debate how long those limits should be. We have limits on the President of the United States for a reason. Those same, same things accrue to committee chairmen, and Congress has tried to have rules that make a committee chairman rotate because of term limits. I think we ought to go further. And we, you know, there are some people who believe, I'm one of them, that if you could take a directory of all the citizens of the United States, non-felons, 18 to 90, and throw a dart at the board 435 times and put them in Congress, we could be no worse off. We can do better. You know, I, I know I don't mean to use that joke, but, but we can do better. You know, when you look at me, I want you to remember something. We can do better. And, and we can do it with, with decent people like you and I working it out. Uh, reform should include a nod or a stand on three issues, money and politics, term limits, and apportionment. How do we reapportion every 10 years and end up with 90% of all congressmen being in safe districts? I don't think that's what the founding fathers and mothers intended. That's reform. I do all three. Yes? Uh, 